My God, it leads to conflicts, I said. In the church, when the building inspector Jesus Christ comes, you just flunk the test. When you are building character as a woman of God, I'm talking to the women now. You don't have time to exaggerate statistics, to pass on rumors or gossip. You don't have time to be, oh God, sitting at somebody's dining room table. Oh God, listening, oh God, to gossip and negative. You got to put that to death. You got to tell that person, I'm a new creation in Christ. God is building me up. I don't talk like I used to. I don't walk like I used to. I might have been this a long time ago, but look at me now. Good God Almighty. Oh God. My God. You don't have time for the rumors or the gossip huh? or say things to build your own self-image. Huh? We've got some people huh, that all they want to do huh, is build themselves up, huh? stick their chest out, huh? look at me, huh? look what I can do. Huh? Baby, you don't have to convince nobody. Huh? If you a real woman, a man, a God, huh? the anointing needs no introduction. Huh? The anointing speaks for itself. Huh? All you've got to do huh, is open up your mouth. Huh? People will know who you are. Huh? You don't have to go around huh, and say, I'm prophet is so-and-so. Huh? Excuse me. Huh? When God calls me, huh, he's going to call me by Thelma. Huh? He's not going to call me pastor. Huh? He's going to call me by my name. Huh? We've got to learn huh, that, baby, I don't need to belittle you. Huh? I don't need to put you down. Huh? We've got so many people. Huh? putting other people down huh, so that they can look big huh? but if you don't know who you are huh, you'll fall every time huh? I don't have to put you down huh? I know who I am in God huh? I know what God brought me through huh? I know where God brought me from huh? I don't need you huh, to tell me huh, who I am huh? I know who I am huh? that's the problem with the church huh? the people of God huh? need to get an attitude huh? baby it's alright huh? if you don't call my name huh? it's alright huh? if you don't tell me huh? oh good God Almighty huh? that I did a good job huh? you don't have to pat me on the back huh? I'm, I'm secure in me huh? I know who I am huh? that's not arrogance huh? that's confidence in God huh? he's the one huh? that pushes me huh? he's the one huh? that that helps me. Oh God. So I don't have to make you look little huh, so that I look big. Huh. Oh, glory to God. Huh? That's what's going on in the body of Christ. Huh? We try to crush somebody else's spirit huh? so that we can look good. Huh? It's going to take more than that devil huh? for you to push me. Huh? I done been through hell and back. Huh? I'm going to let some demon huh? stand up and tell me huh? that I ain't nothing. Huh? The devil is a liar. Huh? We're all somebody. Huh? Good God Almighty huh? in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Oh God. Wow. We may not agree. We might not agree on everything. But having godly character as women of God huh, causes us to work together. Huh? See, God wants us to work together. Huh? He didn't make us all the same. Huh? He made us all different. Huh? So we bring our different gifts huh, to the body of Christ. Huh? I don't have to push you out of the way huh, and say, look what I can do. Huh? The Bible tells me huh, your gift will make room for you. Huh? You don't have to make no waves. Huh? That's why the church is in a mess. Huh? That's why the church is all tore up. Huh? That's why we can't get along. Huh? And we talk about building. Huh? What are we building? Huh? Hate, anger, and strife. Huh? Jealousy, envy, and bitty. Huh? Bitterness. Huh? That's what we're building. Okay. I'm going to give you some hope in a minute. Oh, God. 
When we clothe ourselves with love, it leads to peace between individuals and among the members of the believers. When you build godly character, your life should be hidden in Christ. What does it mean for your life to be hidden? That means you are concealed. You are safe in him. Oh, glory to God. So even when the hurt comes, because I'm concealed huh? because I'm safe in God. Huh? That arrow didn't take me down huh? like it did in the past huh? when envy and bitterness comes. Huh? I'm concealed in him. Huh? I'm safe in the Holy Ghost. Huh? When things come to knock you over huh? and to knock you down huh? you've got to tell the enemy huh? I'm concealed in God. Huh? I'm safe in him. Huh? Nothing shall come nigh my dwelling. Huh? I hide under his wing. He is my refuge, a very present help in the time of trouble. Good God Almighty, I'm safe in him. My God, many times it's difficult to forgive someone who has wronged you. But you have to keep in mind God forgave you. Let God worry about the wrongs that you have suffered. Let God worry about the wrongs as you have suffered. As you begin to build godly character, let the love of God guide your life. Don't quench. That word quench means suppress. Don't quench your life in bitter feuding. Don't you know it's too late in the evening to be feuding and bitter, oh God, to be striving with people. Don't let your life be, oh God, in bitter feuding, live renewed in love and joy. Paul offers a strategy to help us live for God day by day and to build with the right materials as women of God. Paul tells us to let Christ's peace, good God Almighty, be our umpire or referee in our heart. God is the supervisor. You've got to understand that. Who enforces the rules of our life. God accept what he allows. If he allowed you to go through it. He's able to bring you through it. He's able to bring you to it. But you've got to understand all this bitterness and guile, all this venom that's being spewed out in the body of Christ. Enough of this foolishness. Good God Almighty. Our heart is the center of conflict because it's there our feelings and our desires clash. How can we live these constant constant conflicts uh, and live as God wants and this is what Paul says my God Paul says number one to imitate Christ his compassion with a forgiving attitude when you're building godly character as you imitate Christ Oh, God, with a forgiving attitude, you'll find it easy to forgive. Yes, sister, you hurt me, but I forgive you. I love you. I forgive you. Brother, you hurt me, but I forgive you. Number two, let love guide your life. Let the love of God guide your life. Number three, let the peace of Christ rule in your heart. The reason many of us can't build character is because there's no peace. We have no peace. We need God's peace. Number four, always be thankful. Whatever state you find your, yourself in, the word of God says, be content, be thankful. If every time I see you and, 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 and there's a problem and you're not walking in the victory that God is giving you, 
when God says be thankful in all things, always give thanks. Number five, keep God's word in you at all times. We can do nothing without the word of God. When trouble comes, you can tell the devil, Satan, it is written. I stand on the word of God. 